let your heart break. And then you sing down, down into the river. What's happening, everybody? What's happening, everybody? Oh, what you got? All right, home and sin. All right, come on in, guys. Come on in. Let's give it a minute. Let everybody get a chance to get on up in here. Let everybody get a chance to get on up in here. Come on in, come on in, everybody, come on in. If you're not in, come on in. If y'all in, settle in. We're about to get started here. All right, come on, come on in. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm swinging in. I'm swinging in. Jason, you know good and well you don't have, you don't have not one leg to stand on. <laughs> Jason, you got one leg to stand on. You knew it. You had, uh, I think he was betting on when, when, uh, when you told me he was betting on the, um, on the uh, Fort Niners. I told you, and it wasn't a it wasn't a conspiracy either. So <laughs> you just, you just got to know how to play the game. Them cats, yeah. The NFL is a multi billion dollar conglomerate. They they and, and they are not playing. They want they want everything set up exactly how they want it set up. No, I didn't bet on them. I didn't bet on but I knew the Chiefs were going to take it, though. But, no, it was a real good game. Man. I ain't worried about that. Hey, guys. What's happening? Uh, if you, if you pink, if you, uh, if you pink, uh, uh, put like a pink, se a pink seven, uh, I think it's pink seven three. I think pink seven three. Try pink seven three. If not pink seven uh, six, because there will be multiples of three. Pink seven three or pink seven six. And, and let me know because I want to see it. All right, guys, come on in, come on in, everybody, come on in. If y'all not in, come on in. If you are in, settle in. We're gonna get started here in just a second. Just a second. What's up, Mister Ed? Mister Ed is in the house. Mr. Ed said, what up, coach? I don't know. Well, I ain't got to read them now. Y'all y'all can see them on the side. I'm not going to turn the, uh, the the chats off because uh, I don't, I still think they, uh, they they janky. I don't think they fixed them. So I'm just going to leave them, leave them on. But I, I don't, I think when we go to commercial, if they're going to automatically cut off, we'll, we'll check because I got a commercial I got to do today. But we'll check it. We will check it. Oh, Miss Ed, I checked on your uh, your assignment, and your assignment uh, should be done today. It should be done today. Hopefully, they can get it done before uh, before they leave today, because then we have to wait till the weekend. But uh, I told them uh, to to make sure they check it. But yeah, I, I did see it in the uh, in the listing and the lineup, so they're gonna get it done. Uh, and they told me they'll get it done today. So if it gets done, but if it ain't done by the end of this show, well, they still got until nine o'clock. But uh, we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it again uh, after the show. Make sure they're doing their dog on job over there.
Peter C, what's happening? Peter C, welcome in to the stream. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Five minutes after, let's go ahead and get started. And then we can kick it. Let me change my uh, change my graphic on here too. No problem, Ed. No problem, dog. You know how we kick it. We do it. We lose it. All right, we got it done. All right, guys, let's get let's get cracking. Hey, Miss Peach. Miss Peach, I hope you're not gonna put. I, I see you typing on there. I hope you're not gonna put some crazy stuff on here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let me go ahead and get started first, uh, and then we'll get into it. All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Mobile On Sponsor, Mr. Hair Art Show. I'm your host, Ronnie Mack. You guys know me as Mr. Hair Art and Coach. Right there. And we're live. We're live, guys. We're live, live, live. We're live on multiple different platforms, multiple different channels, all at the same time. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Twitch, on LinkedIn, on Discord, on uh, even on our website at mobilon.com. We're live at hairrtv.com. We're live at uh, AAACharity.org. We're live on multiple platforms, all up under Mr. Hair Art. So if you're going to the platforms, just look under my account uh, for Mr. Hair Art, and you'll see me broadcasting live. We broadcast live every day or every weekday at uh, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. So y'all come on in and kick it with me. It's just um, it's just the, uh, the owner show. I'm the owner. Um, and I go on live uh, to share information about the business, about the um, about the industry, about mobile salons, about hair art, about the program, about the school, about making money with mobile salon buses, the whole nine yards. We share uh, that information directly to you on this show, which is a live uh, show for the owner uh, talking with you guys who come in and uh, kick it with me uh, just for an hour. We're, we, we don't, we're not going to keep you long. Um, and then when we're done, uh, you guys should be enlightened to be able to, to get into uh, the mobile salon industry as well as the hair art industry to make money. All right, guys. Um, it is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, today is, uh, what is it? The, the first, I think it's the first. Yeah, today's the first. So it is whoop, whoop time, guys. It is the first of the month on a, was March, uh, no, 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 uh, 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 yeah, January, February, March, uh, on April, for, well, we'll, we'll be with that when we get to it, because one more month, uh, I'm gonna show y'all, I got a big, big, big surprise for you guys uh, in April, so uh, you definitely wanna, you wanna hang in there and, and uh, be there uh, with us on that. April's gonna be our, April's gonna be a huge month. I was gonna say our, our biggest month, but May is gonna, I, I know May is gonna be the, 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 the kicker because that's when everything kind of, you know, kicks out. Uh, but April is gonna be super huge. This month, we're gonna be uh, setting everybody up, getting everybody uh, in, in the rhythm and, and going and doing their thing. Uh, and then this month, we're also signing our primary sponsors and getting our releases done. So we'll be able to uh, finally get out there and uh, show uh, show the people what we got. So I'm excited for this month. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, reared up and geared up, uh, ready to rock and roll. So I hope you guys are as well. Uh, let's see. We have, yeah, we have quite a few people watching on the buses. I don't think that the link is working on uh, the buses. Uh, I'll put my my uh, guest link on here as well. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, pop in, you can come on uh, just by clicking that link right there. All right. All right. Who we got in there? Yeah, we got uh, Mr. Ed is in the house. We got Worldwide in the house. What's up, Darnell? is in the Chris Neal. We got Miss Beaches in the house. We got Jason D. I mean, uh, Jason T is in the house. We have um, Born, Born, uh, Born Sensational, I believe. Born Sensational is in the house. Uh, Faye Reddy, Barbershop, what's happening? Welcome in uh, to the house. They said, uh, we cutting out of LA. All right, welcome uh, uh, LA uh, Barbers. Thank y'all for tuning in and kicking it with us. 
Uh, we have uh, some people from uh, Shreveport. Okay. It says Shre Shreveport with a T on there, and it, it, it confused me, but it said uh, Shreveport Barbers. Okay. Welcome in. I go to Shreveport uh, when we go. We have. Uh, we've had quite a few shows out in Shreveport. Uh, some of them we've done in the casino because uh, they got huge uh, ballrooms in the casino, um, and uh, it's it's a it's a cool place to do uh, hair shows and things. Uh, and the, the the ones that we've been having has been uh, small, but they've been wanting us to increase our shows and do, do some some bigger shows at uh, the the casino venues because they have people they're just wanting to get more people in. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's really, really cool. The problem though, is my people, when, when they get out there, they'll get out there and they'll get on them, on them tables. They'll get on them slot machines. <laughs> they'll get out there and get the gambling. And then I can't get them to do no work. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, it, it's, it's a catch 22 on, uh, doing events in, uh, in the casino, but it's real cool. Uh, they pay good. Uh, the, all of the amenities, they got all of the, the restaurants and all of the stuff you that you want out there. But you just you just lose a lot of people <laughs> running out to the to the casino. Uh, Jay said, "Yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> I know it. I I know Jay. You ain't you ain't been bad as as some people that I know uh, that we'd be rolling with out there. But man, look at here." We trying to we trying to get microphones set up and 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 get uh get tickets uh, clocked in and all that type of stuff and these cats out there rolling dice and, and, and counting cards. I was like, man, and pressing them that that slot machine button. So you got I just got to be careful with that. But I do plan on doing uh some more, and we're going to Vegas too. So when we go to when we go to Vegas, you know they have the largest venues uh, when we do e events out in Vegas. I've never had an event in Vegas. Uh, I wanted to in the last couple of years, uh, right before the pandemic, I wanted to have uh, the last event that I had. I wanted to have it out in Vegas, but I couldn't. Uh, so we had it here in uh, at the Fair Park. But man, I, I, I've been one. That's one of my that's one of my goals right now is to have a big event uh, in Las Vegas and just uh, kick it up. Some of my partners and uh, some some other sponsor groups have. Uh, events out there, and I, I'll come out there and do uh, talks and, and help host. But uh, I've never had my own, so that that's one of my goals for this year. All right. Uh, print, what is this? Print. Uh, what is that name? Print. Print key. Print key. Print key. You know what? I'm gonna spell it. P r i <laughs> p r i t i n i k i. Welcome into the stream. JT the Barber, what's happening? Welcome into the stream. KKE, what's happening? Welcome into the stream. Phase Barber Shop, what's happening? Welcome into the stream. Thank y'all for coming in and kicking it with us. Miss Veronique is in the house. She says, peace and prosperity. Thank you and welcome into the stream. Thank all y'all for coming into the stream. Y'all cool people. I appreciate it a whole, whole lot. All right, a couple of announcements real quick. Oh, uh, also, um, I did check on course four. Course four is working, but there was something, uh, and I've, I've had a couple of reports of people saying that it's being crossed up where the, um, the, the form that we use in the course is going out, uh, it, it's kind of crisscrossing with the other form on the next chapter. So I have my, my tech guy looking at that. So I'll, I'll let you guys uh, know when they have that squared away, but I'll have them looking at it right now. I didn't know what was going on with it, but I pulled it up and I saw that it was uh, it was doing some crazy stuff. Uh, let's see here. Okay, he said, LOL, thank you. Yeah, no problem, no problem. How do you pronounce that? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can't even begin to, to say it. Uh, you gotta spell it phonetically. So I know what's happening, because I butcher everybody's um, uh, everybody's, uh, Hey, Jason. Yeah. Give me a, get, give me a hit on, on the ear and I'll see. Yeah. I butcher everybody's uh, name when they, when they be putting in, some people be putting crazy names in their uh, profile and I, man, look, <laughs> 
Yeah, go to uh, yo, go to um, uh, YouTube. If y'all go to YouTube, then y'all can see me. Let me switch that. Matter of fact, let me switch my my deals here. Oh, there we go. Okay, because I I think um, in YouTube, I mean in uh, Instagram, they only see the middle screen. Yeah, in, in YouTube, they only see the middle screen. So if y'all if y'all are watching in Instagram uh, and you only see the middle screen, go to YouTube and you'll see the full screen. There's three screens running right now. I told y'all it only shows the 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 uh, what you call them, uh, the 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 uh, long ways profile. It doesn't show the it doesn't show the landscape where it, all of it is is in the frame. I do not like that. Okay, and I don't think my my uh, I don't think my uh, restream can do anything about that. That's that's on a, that's an Instagram issue. They may be able to fix it. I don't know. Okay, Derek, what's happening, man? What's up with you? Welcome into the stream. I, I it's your first time here, ain't it? Welcome into the stream, sir. Um, if you if you go to my website, go to mobilon.com, M-O-B-A-L-O-N. Go to mobilon.com. Mobilon is short for mobile salons. Go to mobilon.com. It'll have all the information on that website on the front page. Yeah, and, and the application is at the top of the page. So if you want to sign up, you can sign up there. Let let me know uh, who if, if if who if anybody sent you uh, if you're trying to sign up because I know I talked to you uh, what a couple a couple of weeks ago or so. And you were letting me know you was getting your monies together. So if you're signing up and, and uh, if, if somebody sent you, let me know so that they get uh, their referral. If not, it's it's fine. I just wanna I just wanna kind of boost up our referral game and, and get people get people their money. We got people coming in and signing up, but uh, they're not putting anybody down as referral. Okay, yeah. If anybody if anybody here or is watching that is uh, trying to sign up to get into the mobile salon program or get into the mobile salon school, uh, go to mobilon.com, M-O-B-A-L-O-N.com and sign up. That That's where you'll sign up. Uh, Ms. Vernie said, yeah, it is Friday. It, it's Friday right now. It's Friday all day too, Ms. Vernie. And uh, soon it will be the weekend. And I well hell I gotta I gotta work but I enjoy working so uh, the weekends just like a weekday for me because <laughs> I enjoy y'all know how I do it I said I set up I purposely set up my business so that I don't I don't have to dread coming to work I, I literally enjoy coming to work so you know we got y'all see over here um, y'all see on my on my screen. I have uh, my production area. There's my my hair art uh, gallery where we have a bar right here and a, a drink station. I don't drink, but I, I have a station where we can just uh, chill and kick it. Uh, we got kids play area where the kids, uh, you know, we come in and kick it with kids. Y'all see how messy the kids play area is right now? That's that's how we kick it. <laughs> we had the kids up in there, and they just they just they just run through everything and tear it all up. But them 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 my babies. Uh, we have who is that saying? Girl, G-E-R. G E R, or is they are they saying are they saying nigger? <laughs> somebody somebody put nigger over there. <laughs> that that's not an offensive word over here. I'm sorry, whoever was putting that on there. You finna get blocked, but. Uh, you know what? The funniest thing was, um, there was a guy that was um, that was going up against the. Oh, hold on, let me block this guy here. Uh, there was a guy on on here that was battling with the the transgenders, and I mean it was it was bad. I mean it was real real bad. And everything that I saw that was going on, I mean, they, when they was really going after each other, uh, old, old boy was saying, <laughs> I don't know if it was, uh, if if he started it or, he, or if he went after the other guy or whatever, it was a real, real, it was a real, real bad situation. And that's what he was, <laughs> that's literally what he was saying when he was going over. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, this looks like some some uh some either some trolls or some 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 morons. All I have to do, all I do is block them and send them to the send them to the cornfield. Oh, let's see. Hey, Jason, Jason, get let no, I I I can do it. It's up to you. I mean, either way, it's fine. How many, how many uh, did you need? Let me know if you have anything and then I'll, I'll send them out. Cause I had two myself. Yeah, let me, let, let, let's take a commercial break. And he said, he wants to reset my server. I'll reset it and then bring them in. Introducing a new mobile salon investment opportunity. Hey, the mobile salon bus I ordered is here. Okay. That's right. Mobile salons are here. You can right, now invest me, or franchise your very own. Commercial, then we'll be right back. back. Come on, let's check it out. Hi, I'm Loma, I'm owner and head accountant of Business and Money Management. Here's the big news. We are now partnered with the Mobile Salon Network. What the Mobile Salon Network does is they take shuttle buses and they convert them into mobile barbershops and beauty salons. For the first time ever, the Mobile Salon Network is offering the ability to invest in their mobile barbershops and beauty salons. You're now able to invest in a recession-proof, 100% guaranteed business because everybody has hair and they're mobile. Imagine not having to drive to your barber or beauty salon, but instead having the mobile barbershop or beauty salon come to you. Using their Uber-like app, customers will be able to schedule mobile salons to come out to their homes, their churches, schools, workplaces, and more. Now for a limited time only, and for a limited number of people, the, the mobile salon network is accepting investments in the following formats. There are three types of investment opportunities available for your minimum $100,000 investment. Number one, the simple flip. That's taking your $100,000 and turning it into $200,000 in one year. Number two, the 12% return on investment. That's 1% of $100,000 paid out every month, every year. Yep, that's totaling 12% a year, way more than you're going to get at a bank. Number three, and new, are franchise opportunities. With this one, you're gonna be buying into a $100,000 mobile salon franchise. You'll make 20% off the income of whatever that bus makes. All of these opportunities come with a 100% money back guarantee and is backed by a multi-million dollar mobile salon company and their product line. There are no products or services for you to manage because they are all managed and ran by the company. All you need to do is check in online on how much money your investment is making. Your returns are deposited into your bank account monthly or in one lump sum at the end of the year if you opted for the doubling your money in 12 months. Think about it. You're now able to invest in the mobile salons, one of the fastest growing, most profitable business ventures in the industry. As of the making of this video and depending on who all is signed up already, you don't have a lot of time. Call this number, 1-800. 406-7711 or go online to mobilesalonnetwork.com to get more information. But don't take long because this investment opportunity won't last long. I'm Loma with Business and Money Management and the Mobile Salon Network. I'd like to thank you for your time and we'll see you at the top. Do, 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 do. All right, we got them done, guys. We got, oh man, they messed up my doggone chat. Yep, yam it. <laughs> my baby just saying, yam it. <laughs> they don't want to be one, they don't be one to cut, curse on it. Um, man, they messed up my chat. We had some, uh, some trolls come in. It was about, it was about 20 or 30 um, accounts that was coming in and and, and typing in nigger and, and blackie and <laughs> and, and um, uh, black people suck and all that type of stuff. They were putting crazy stuff, <laughs> putting crazy stuff on it. 
dude, it takes it takes all way more way more than that to get my goat. Yeah, y'all y'all messing with the wrong one. I don't give I don't give two shits. <laughs> Cause I, it, it's the here's the thing. If y'all were here and y'all were watching the uh, the stream, y'all was y'all was seeing the people. They wasn't typing N I G G E R or N I G L A. They was just typing N I and then G G and then A E R and all that and uh, and, and popping them in. They I guess they don't know uh, the more activity on my on my chat, uh, the better the algorithm because it literally sees that people are coming in and they're chatting. <laughs> they're they're engaging with the show. So you you literally helping the show. I mean, I don't, I don't know what what your purpose is, but um, yeah, it, it's just people out here that that's like that. And that's a that's a big key element, guys, that y'all y'all have to see. If y'all were here and y'all saw that or y'all was watching that, that's the type of people that we have out here. It's really those type of people out here in the world. And chances are it's, it was somebody, some white guy or a white girl or white person that uh, don't like black people. And they, they see a black person trying to come up and doing their thing. And then they try to they try to hurt you or try to bring you down or try to get you gold or get you to, to respond. And it's, it's just difficult to, for, to get me because I don't care. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm a millionaire who really just you just don't give a damn. And that's why I've gotten where I've I've gotten is by not letting dumb, throwed off, ignorant folk, folk drag me through the mud with them. Because that's that's when you don't achieve in your life. Literally, that's when you that's when you stop achieving. When you when your life is obsessed with trying to bring others down, that slows you down. Because you definitely don't come up. Look at uh, um, uh, Wendy Williams. And I hate to even talk about her like that. And I, I don't even like the name drop, but that was a very, very specific um, case. And I really hated it for her that 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 happened to her and all those things happened uh, to her. I hate when when anything happens to anybody that's uh, that's provoked like that and and their life start being turned upside down. And the only time I'll name check people in, in situations like that is when it, it's a learning situation, when you can actually learn from it. She spent m most of her life doing gossip and talking about other people and, and spreading, you know, negativity and doing uh, some really bad. I mean, I could I tried to watch her, her show a few times. I couldn't watch it because it was just it was just that it was just that shameful it was not it was not something that we should have in our culture that uh that will propel us forward we're talking about people and and bringing up gossip and just being a very uh negative and and, and you know uh putting down type of person um and in the end you know she got horribly sick and is on drugs and alcohol and and is is being um you know, locked up left and right. It, it, it's really, really bad. Now they're, they're taking her money and, and is shaming her and literally um, embarrassing her in front of the, the whole world. It's, it's bad. It's very bad. All because, I mean, y'all know how I talk. I, I said it a uh, hundred different times. Karma is a mother. That's why I speak out like I speak out right now. Karma is a mother. You cannot do people like that and expect for your your life and your whole situation to just be uh, unicorns and rainbows. If you're in, and that goes for the the, the person or, pure, or people who are who were trying to bombard our uh, our show just now, just today, and bombard our chat. I had to put a put a couple of spirits out there for them to bring karma into their life. Not not hexing, not not trying to to put a a, a, a curse or anything like that on it. No, because I don't I don't need to do that. What I do is I say bring karma in their life. That's it. Just bring karma in their life because most of the time they're being ignored by God, being ignored by spirit, being ignored, and they're they're left to run them up. They're left to just just do whatever they want to do because 
either God has seen that you're you're not worth anything, so He doesn't pay attention to you, or you're you're just so so much a, a small person that you you're just insignificant. But in these cases, and I'm telling you guys, you guys, this y'all might want to use it because it. Oh my God, does it work? Oh my God, does it work? I've, I've been doing it almost all my life. I, I learned it when I was a teenager and when I, cause I, I went to church and almost every day, I learned everything I need to learn. I don't read the Bible forwards and backwards umpteen times. I don't went into every religion. I went through the, the, uh, the Quran, uh, the, the Gita, the um, Judaism, uh, postism, the the priest and monks and Catholic that I've I've literally examined them all, and everything normally comes up wanting for me. It's always holes in the story. There's always a problem, but one thing that stands completely clear every single time is that there is something. <laughs> there is something. Even atheists, even people who don't believe in God, people who don't believe in the spirits, people who don't believe in all of that, what they call mumbo jumbo, they still say, and they still have a conscious mind to say, there is something. There's something that make us tick. There's something that brings consciousness to a human being to be able to get up in the morning, walk and talk and converse with other human beings. That's not an accident. That's intelligence design. It's called intelligent design. That means that there is something bigger than us that's creating this world that we're living in and that there is a plan with it. So whether you believe in karma, whether you believe in God, believe in spirit, I'm just telling you what I have seen to work every single time. That's karma. Karma is not a, a hex. Karma is not a, um, uh, a, a, a curse or it's not a good thing or a bad thing. Karma is just what you deserve. That's it. That's an easy way to say you're going to get what you deserve. And that's what you pray on people. That's what you you evoke on people. That's what you put onto people. Give them what they deserve because it could be a good thing. It could be blessings. It could be greatness. It could be money. It could be values. It could be life. It could be love. It could be it, anything, health and wellness. It could be anything. Just give them what they deserve because they're obviously screaming out for something. So give them what they deserve. It could be bad. <laughs> it could be a hex. It could be a, uh, uh, it could be a strike. It could be a slap down. It could be a curse. It could be a. It could be a, a, a test. It could be whatever uh, God has deemed uh, relevant in your life, and the spirits relevant in your life. You kind of want to be careful, dude. You kind of want to be careful because when you get someone that's 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 connected enough to uh, even people say wish things on you. <laughs> When you get somebody intelligent enough to move spirits to bring karma in your life, you you gotta you gotta really be on your p's and q's. Because in my life, I do I do unto others as I would have others do unto me. I treat people like I want to be treated, and that's not that's not treating people good and giving them all your money in your wallet and just you know uh, 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 letting them run over your life. No, I don't do that either. I treat people like I want to be treated. I want to be treated fair. I want to be, if I'm out of line, if I'm out of line, let me know I'm out of line. That's what I want because I let people know when they're out of line. And when I'm out of line, I want people to let me know I'm out of line. When I'm wrong, I want people to let me know I'm wrong because that gives me the opportunity to what? Correct myself so that I'm right again. I'm always right. Always. Why? Because I'm smart enough to know that when I'm wrong, I need to be aware that I'm wrong so that I can correct it so that I'm right again. I'm always right because I leave the door open to be wrong. And when I'm wrong, I correct it so that I'm right again. This is where we all should be standing. And now that, yeah, um, uh, Jason, I just I just blocked them all. I, I, I let it run for, for a minute when we went into commercial uh, so that it can, it can spike up the algorithm because I don't get too many people we we talk back and forth, but most of the time I be doing all the talking. Um, my crew doesn't do much talking. 
uh, unless I provoke them, <laughs> like Miss Veronique or, or or Phil is in the house, but I know they working, so I can't be telling them to to get over here typing and all that. I let them work. My people got to work. We got better things to do. See, then coming on here and typing and 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 acting a fool and showing out like these clowns that was just in here. My people have to work. My people are handling their business. I'm pleased and I'm proud and I'm happy and thankful that they just give me the time to come into the show. So that's why I say all throughout my show, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in. Thank you for, for showing love. Thank you for even dropping in. That That's what I do because I appreciate everybody in here even taking the time to come to the show and give me a minute of their time. Even just to, just to show that, hey, somebody's watching see because i know there's a lot of people coming and i i put out when i put out advertisements and i put out i told y'all this before when i put out all of my 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 um email blast and text blast now it's gonna be a flood of people coming in but that's only because they hear uh the owner they hear a millionaire saying hey come in and come in and watch the show they'll come in and watch the show because i i told them to I don't like that. I'd rather people come in generically, come in naturally and watch because they like me or they, they appreciate or respect me and what I'm doing. Those are the people I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the people who are looking for some more or coming in just because I told them to come in. That's not value to me. That's not credit for me. What's credit for me is people coming in because they see me, they see what I'm doing. They want to be a part of what I'm doing despite making money because that's that's a given that's a that's the thing that we're all going to do they come in because i'm about to do something in this industry that everybody can be a part of and they that they can secure themselves secure their lives and their lifestyle all that good stuff man it's gonna be on and popping i love it i absolutely love it uh let me check real quick yeah i just i just blocked them all just now so if you see something else, let me know. But uh, it was just no, it, it was it was just trolls that coming in and and uh, <laughs> and putting in crazy stuff. Yeah, it, it says it on there right now. Restream bot. Uh, yeah, I put an AI bot on there because we have we have power too. I just put an AI bot on there to to delete anything that they post and delete their account. I'm sorry, delete uh, their their ability to post on this account or on this uh, on this stream. So they can they can try <laughs> because it takes more. What? Yeah, exactly. That was, it, that's literally what I was going to say. Thank you, Peaches. That was literally what I was going to say. I say it takes them more time to create another account, another fake account, another empty account, and then come back and try to post again. But you know what it takes for me? Just click block. <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes. And, and you can't post in here. You can't post in here at all. I just click block. Click block. They create another account. Click block. They create another account. I don't give a click block. You can, you can create as many accounts as you want. All I'm going to do is block it and continue to block it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it is literally, you know how many times I can do this? I can do it thousands of times. So, how, so however many accounts you want to create, I'm right there. I'm right there to click it and block it. Yeah, because they, exactly. They have to They have to log in. They have to have a, a username. They have a password, create an account. They have to have an email to set up for to create the account. They have to go back in and verify the email, verify the phone number, do a, snap, do a, uh, a text. Uh, verification go in validate the account to be able to text and be able to chat and then create the the name on it they gotta do a bunch of stuff to create an account just to come in and type nigger 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 <laughs> which we don't give a shit anyway i mean who cares i mean i just click block <laughs> right exactly exactly miss bernie i just click block and that that's literally all it takes and we keep moving we don't allow negativity and stupidity especially racism and and you know dumb people that's that's really ignorant 
in their in their lives to over 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 um, overflow into our lives, dude. You, we got too we got too many <laughs> we got life to live. You know, we got too many good things to do over here to be bogged down by your foolishness. Yeah, and I yeah, I only give it time. I only give it. I only talk about it myself because I want to make sure that other people know how to properly put it in its, its place. I don't want other people to dwell on it or let it consume their life. Now, the only reason why I talk about it is to make sure that everybody in here, because you guys are not the only uh, people that are watching. I have people that are watching on my buses. I have people that are watching in our uh, barbershops and beauty salons because we broadcast this show in the barbershops. We broadcast this show in the buses. So everybody's watching this and I want to make sure that if you're watching, don't allow that because my people get mad. They get upset when people do something to me, they take it personally. And my security over oh, <laughs> here, them mothers is crazy. They'll be wanting to track. Well, uh, coach, we can we can backtrack and we can find out the uh, the API, the a, uh, the, the uh, IP address and locate their their geo uh, tracking. We can actually locate a, a, a zone uh, where they're located, and then we can contact. With. They literally start thinking about how they can pinpoint where the chat or where the person lives and where, where the where, where the, the the messages are coming from and all that. And I'm like, no. No, we're not. We're not. Why would we explain to me why we would waste our time with that? We got way, way more important things to do than to be trying to track down somebody putting racial slurs on my on my stream, on my chat. Who cares? Block. <laughs> Just click block. And I'm done with them. That's literally it. Just click block. And that's it. And I, I, I literally have to do it on all of the all the time when i go live um the more people you 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 um attract when especially if you go viral because I, I like to do things that that go viral i haven't done anything yet but i'll do things that go viral and then you will attract a lot of attention and then here comes the, the haters here comes the negative people here comes the racist here comes the white folk who don't want you, don't don't like that a black man is is literally a millionaire and, and you know allowing other people, not just black, but black, white, Hispanic, anybody, they don't they don't like the fact that someone like me is actually helping people to rise up and become something. And it's not them. So it, you'll attract those type of people. And it's this it's just a way of life, guys. It's just the way things work in this world. And you have to be prepared for that. You literally have to be prepared for it. It only gets worse. And I, again, again, please understand me. Please understand me. I'm going to say this as clearly as I can say it. And I hope you guys are listening. You all, everybody that's following my instructions and that's going along with this program, you all are about to be wealthy. You're going to be on the other side end of the spectrum you're going to have money you're going to have wealth you're going to have power you're going to have position that's going to make people hate you you understand me that's going to make people again you're not trying you're not out here cussing people out and acting a fool and slapping people across the, across the head and pushing old ladies down the stairs you're not doing anything like that you're not doing anything mean or bad or, or negative you're literally living your own life you're just minding your business you're staying in your lane you're doing what you need to do and you're making money you're making friends you're doing you're helping people you're literally doing what you do and people will hate you for it people will literally hate you for that you're talking to a professional i've had it all my life all my life when i didn't have money i had it and when i didn't have when i when now when i have money i had it i was running out and i i'm gonna say this we're gonna get ready to get up out of here i was going to nursing homes and i got pictures and video and everything it, it was it was it was some of the best times of my career and of, of my profession i used to go to nursing homes i used to go to hospitals 
I used to go to oh kids like uh, nurseries and and uh, 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 daycare centers. Oh my God, they tried my patience. Oh my Lord! But when I went up in there, I set up my. I had little folding barber chairs. Uh, you unfold it, you click it out, and the chair pops out. And then I had my my case. My case opened up because it was one of those. Um, one of those two box cases when you open it up it, it falls you know it it opens up in rows and you have like rows of of, uh, of areas where you can put uh your tools and equipment and stuff so i had all my clippers and all my stuff i had little suckers and candy and all this stuff. i had all that stuff in there and i used to roll up to the, the daycare centers and, and cut the little kids hair for free you know and then the mamas will come and they'll pay and uh same thing with the nursing homes i would do the elderly people's hair for free but then the parent, the the kids of the elderly people will come in and ask, who who cut my dad's hair? You know, who cut my mom's hair? Who who did who did the? And they would leave money at the front desk for me when I come in and do the the resident's hair. Um, and it was it was so awesome. You could feel the love. You can feel the 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 blessing and the and the the people just reciprocating your 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 good deed. And I wasn't doing it for credit, you know, because I, I wasn't asking for no money. I wasn't, you know, big flair, you know, uh, uh, pompous and, and you know, celebration and fireworks. No, I just came in, did their hair, made them feel good, made them feel like somebody. The kids, I come in and cut them. I put their little initials in their hair and, and you know, give them suckers and all that. Just made them feel good and it made me feel good. Okay. Check this out. Do you know I actually had people that would hate on me for doing that? They would not like that I was coming up to the nursing home and doing old people's hair and making them feel good, making them, literally I had an old man, one old guy named Mr. Williams. I will never forget him uh, for the rest of my life. He, he, he never moved, he never did anything. They were, when they fed him, he'd hardly eat and anything. And his hair just grew all the way down to his shoulders. And when I cut his hair and actually talked to him, I talked to him like you would talk to a, a, a person on the street. How you doing, Mr. Williams? You ready to get your hair cut? Come on up, man. What you been up to? What's been happening with you? You know, and he, and he would, you would see his eyes kind of open up and be like, who is this talking to me? Like I'm a regular person. Cause everybody, the nurses, everybody will come in there. Mr. Williams, are you okay? Do you need anything? They will talk to him like he's like he's sick, like he's old and elderly, like he's he's not worth anything. But I came in there and I I'm loud. Y'all know how I am. I'm loud. I'm hey, Miss Will, what's happening, man? I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna cut you up and get you hooked up. I'm gonna have you looking good. You gonna hit the club tonight? You gonna get some of them honeys? You gonna, and you can see his eyes just light up, just open up. And one day when I came in and I did it, he, before I even started, he actually sat up and got ready for his haircut. Y'all may not know what that means, but to me and to those nurses that saw that, that was, that was life changing. That was a whole new world that that one little thing, that one little gesture happened. And that's how good that, that what we do is. But there was always somebody that, that hated on it. There was always somebody that had something negative to say. Somebody that, that, that why is he cutting it? Why was it? I used to hear the, the, the little old, the old ladies in the, in the uh in the conference room why is he cutting it? why is he coming up and some of them may just been you know they just old or whatever but it doesn't account for the people that that were outside of the nursing home it didn't count for the people that was outside of the daycare that literally just had something to say I, what is he up to why is he coming up here all the time why is he coming? because i'm doing my job i'm helping people and it was just always something or somebody that just didn't want you to succeed just didn't want you to do good for other people. And those were the days that taught me the most about just leave them alone. <laughs> leave them alone, keep moving. Just keep moving. Don't let these negative ass people slow you down. Keep moving.
man, I learned that and that, and, and that's when I started making money. Cause back then I wasn't making no money. I mean, I would, I just, I love what I do and I just did it all the time. But when I started doing that, when I just started letting go and doing what I do, that's when I started making money. That's when I started creating my products because my products were designed to help people to make money. So that started kicking off and that started working and everything was all about helping people get where they need to be in life. And it turned around and blessed me in return. And all my whole point is this guys, don't let people, especially negative people, don't let people slow you down from your goals and your dreams. I've had so many phone calls from people calling me saying, Hey, I want a mobile salon bus. I want to get in your program, but I don't have the money. I need to do that. I'm, oh, I talked to my wife and she wasn't, or I talked to my husband and he didn't, he wasn't uh, uh, having it. And we were, I'm going to figure it out. And I tell them all the same thing. Don't let people stand in the way of your goals and your dream. Always work. Just keep at it. When you when you get where you need to go, give me a holler. Give me a shout. We're going to be here. And I've been here. I've been doing this for 30 years. 30 years. I've been doing hair for 30 years. I've been doing uh, my program, my products, all the stuff that I've been doing for 30 years. The buses, we just started, but the buses are now on track to be in the green and literally uh, we're going to be turning a profit probably by the middle of this year. We'll turn our first profit on doing mobile salons. Now, y'all know buses are way more expensive than than they <laughs> than they used to be when we first got started. But we used to use uh, uh, old buses, uh, used buses, and but now we're you know it, it's it's very expensive. Everything's been, but God has blessed us to be able to get sponsors that understand what we're doing and literally compensate us by spending more and paying for more advertisement on the buses, setting us up for um, investors coming in and them believing in what, not just, oh, we're going to make some money. We're going we're gonna to kill it. We're going to make all kinds of money with it. No, they believe in what we're doing. They know that what we're doing is actually going to change the entire world, not just the United States, not just the people in our area. It, it is it's capable of changing the whole world because every time you put in one of us, listen to me guys and then we're going to get out of here. Every time you're putting one of us, because y'all know I'm training you guys to make, to be able to speak like I speak. We are, we are, we are the unpaid psychiatrist. <laughs> of the world we are the ones where the where the customers are coming in and they're spilling their guts they're laying it on the line they're they're coming to us not just for a haircut not just for a service they're coming to us to get some assistance get some relief get a uh a ear to 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 hear their problems and and kind of help them through some things how many of y'all have a client that came in your chair and just sit and didn't say anything not likely. You may have some, but it's not likely. Most of the time, your client is going to come in and they're going to sit and you say, all right, what's, what's I, I, you going to get this and get that and you're going to trim and, the, and on the edge and then you're going to curl it and put, okay, all right. All right. So let's get started. And then you get started on here and you can say, so what's been going on? What's happening with you? What you been up to? And then here it comes. Girl, you know, I'm, oh, I've been working with this and I, my job is, oh, they get on my last nerve. I've been, I can't handle that. Da, 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 da. And this man and all oh, girl and, uh, and man, hey man, dog, man, this girl of mine, she tripping. I don't know what's going on. And I've been trying to fix. And you know anybody that know how to fix, fix, fix this and put it? It's always something. And we are the ones who is the repository. We're the ones they come to, to get that assistance to help them through whatever trials and tribulations they're going through. So know your place, guys. Know your place. We are extremely, extremely valuable. And the more of us that we create, that get out here in mobile salons, no less, going out and literally going into the people. Y'all know how Jesus and the, and, the, <laughs> and the disciples and all of them used to go out into the people? <laughs> go out unto the people and preach the word. 
whether you believe in that stuff or not, we are the ones that are about to go out into the people. We are about to go out unto the people and preach the word. The word is what? Respect yourself because image is everything. Do right by people so that people do right by you. Man, it, 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 it's, it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be fun. It's gonna be fun. I seen some some pop ups, guys, but my 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 chat. They turned my chat, and they they was dealing with the <laughs> they was dealing with the spam and the and the trolls. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and reach y'all's chats when I when I get at them. Uh, but I know I seen uh, old school putting some stuff in there, and uh, Miss Bernie, yeah, man. <laughs> hey, we 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 finna do it. We going we gonna do it, guys, and and uh, and they gonna see us doing it. That's the beautiful thing. We're going to do it, and then they're going to see us doing it. And hopefully, God will, we're going to be able to duplicate ourselves. We're going to be able to spread like a cancer, like a virus, and get other people to behave like we behave, respectful, trustworthy, charitable, literally doing unto others as we would have others do unto you. That doesn't mean you're going out there and, like I said before, giving up everything you have to people. No, that's not how you do it. Cause that's not, that's not good anyway. That's not the way it's supposed to be done. You don't go and just give a person all your, your money and all your, whatever you have, then what did they work for? <laughs> so it's not teaching anything. It's not helping anything. But when you turn around and you actually help someone, you lend them a helping hand, that's different. That's very, very different. All right, guys. Uh, we got on a roll with with uh, with that, but uh, as y'all can see, that's how God do. That's how the spirits do. They'll put a trial, they'll put a test right there in front of you. And I, I don't every single time I'll take my test and I'll run with it. Every time they'll put a test in front of me, I'll take it and I'll run with it. It, it don't make me no difference. It's the only thing that has gotten me where I am today. It's literally taking these tests and taking them in stride and running with them. I don't back down from anything because test, what is it? What I what have I told y'all? A test means a blessing. If you pass that test, that means they got a blessing for you. They're not gonna give you, they're not gonna send you through anything if they don't have something for you on the other side. So when you're going through something, just know that's them finding out if you're ready for the upgrade. That's them trying to find out if you're ready for the upgrade, for the blessing. So take that test and stride. Take it, find out what they want you to do and how they want you to do it, and do it. Knock it out, and you're going to see the blessing on the other side. All right, guys, y'all got me done, done put the coach hat on because of these clowns from the beginning, and I had some stuff, but we're we going to get back. We're gonna get back. You y'all know we have some. I had some people asking about the uh the school. Yeah, the school is all everything is working. Everything is working. There were some issues on uh on course four, so they're working on that. Uh, but everything else is working perfect. So there's no issues. And uh the people that are on hold are that are waiting for the instructors, like I said, they, they everything is online and they're checking everything. They don't just check and say, Oh, they did the assignment, clear, go. No, they check it. They actually somebody, a person reads through all of them and they check and right now y'all know we got lots of people in the school so they're going through every last one of them step by step and piece by piece so to make sure it's right because we're, we're we're playing with live ammunition over here okay this is not small time hey man i just want no if you got one hundred fifty thousand dollars to go and buy a bus then go and get one go and either come and buy it from us or go and buy it from somebody else if you got one hundred fifty thousand dollars burn a hole in your pocket where you can just go and buy your bus I suggest you go and do that. Otherwise, over here, we got a procedure. We got a program that we're running, and that that program will filter out who it needs to filter out and bring in who it needs to bring in. We know what we're doing. We're going we're gonna to get it done. All right, guys, let me get up out of here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Shake. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, she gave a, a, a donation just now. Uh, she said for the for the sermon. I don't I don't preach. <laughs> she said donation for the sermon. I don't preach. I, I coach. I don't do no preaching, but I do I do some hell of fire coaching. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that man, you should see me if I get riled up. Boy, if I get riled up, it's, it's man, it's go time. 
Uh, but thank you for the donation. I appreciate it all the way around. I hope everybody uh, has an absolute perfect, perfect weekend. I'm wishing and, and, and pushing that on everybody that's watching right now. I hope and, and, uh, and pray and, and issue a, uh, a, a absolutely perfect weekend on every last one of y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. I, uh, I will see y'all, um, Monday at six o'clock, if not this weekend. I tell y'all that all the time because I don't know if I'm going to start, uh, when I'm going to start doing, uh, the weekends as well, but it will be so. Um, but thank you. Uh, nevertheless, I will see you all, uh, again at six o'clock. Friday Mac, only the Shops and Stars Network, the Hair Art Network, and the new mobile so hey another donation thank y'all thank you um let's see oh it's anonymous thank you uh nevertheless whoever that is thank you for the donation appreciate it um i'm running back on the shops and salons network the hair art network and the mobile and the uh the new mobile salon network why is there so many donations another donation just coming what is going on here thank y'all normally we get uh you know five ten dollar donations here and there but somebody said a hundred dollar donation and a, uh, that was a forty five dollar donation and another hundred dollar donation. Thank you. I know the the first person and then uh, two anonymous people. All right. Well, thank you, uh, whoever you are. And um, I, I, man, blessings. <laughs> I, I wish I'm, I'm I'm pushing blessings on you. I'm pushing blessings on to you. Thank you. I'm trying to send a thank you message, but it won't let me because they're anonymous. I wanted to put a thank you message on there. It, no, it doesn't go to me. It goes, they said, um, was a super chat. No, that these are not um, super chat. I don't have super chat. Remember, we're trying to build up. I'm, I know we're over. Thank you. I know we're over, but I, I don't have super chats. I'm trying to get my numbers up. I had to get my hours uh, raised up for um, uh, YouTube to be able to do super chat so you get to get monetized. So y'all need to watch my videos and go on to Mr. Hair Art and watch those videos, get my hours up, and that way I can get monetized. But no, they wasn't doing uh, super chats and, and other stuff from YouTube. They were sending donations through uh, Triple H, through uh, uh, Haircuts for the Helpless and Homeless. So they, they were just donations that go to the company. So, but I appreciate those more than super chats and donations and, and uh, cash apps and stuff that come to me. Uh, I, I, that, that helps people. That helps me to help people. So yeah, that's, that's, that's super big, uh, to me, but, uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, I forgot where I was at. I got started. <laughs> I'm Ronnie Mac, owner of the Shops and Salon Network, the Hair Art Network, and the new Mobile Salon Network. Bidding you guys peace and blessings. Please take care of yourself. And if you can, take care of someone else. If we all did that, we all will be taken care of. If you haven't signed up to the Mobile Salon Network, go to mobilon.com, M-O-B-A-L-O-N.com, and sign up. The application is at the top of the page on the right-hand side. Click on it, fill it out, and submit it back in. If everything is good, someone will contact you and let you know what the next steps are. If you haven't donated, please donate to our charity. We have our own charity called Triple H Charity. It stands for Haircuts for the Helpless and Homeless. You can go to www.hhhcharity.org to donate, which we got donations uh, today we've been getting donations almost every day but these are uh, uh, bigger donations um i mean we get like thousand dollar donations and uh, big donations from our sponsors but when individuals give a hundred dollar donation fifty dollar donation i know that it's coming from a person and they're coming out of their pocket with that and that's that that has the spirit on it that has actual soul <laughs> in it you know that has their spirit in it because they're coming out of their wallet they coming out of a purse with that. And that's what, what helps us to build this thing because uh, the, the big man upstairs sees that and they know that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, but uh, anyway, that, that's what, how you give a donation. Go on to uh, AAHcharity.org uh, and donate. Uh, this is the only charity where you can actually see your donations at work. So we appreciate every single uh, person from uh, the, the highest donation all the way down to the dollar. We appreciate uh, your donations for uh, Triple H Charity. All right, guys, that'll do it for me for today. I will be back either tomorrow or Monday uh, at six o'clock, and uh, we'll we'll pick up where we where we left off. And I'll try to get to my list. I got a long list that I need to cover uh, with you guys and the new stuff that we're doing. I want to show y'all some stuff and then do uh, a walk around, but I, we got sidetracked. But we'll we'll get it. We'll get it because we got some new stuff in the building that I was showing you guys before. Uh, but we'll we'll get to it, uh, and then. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I know we, we're over, but um, I think that's I think that uh, that's that's uh, that's good content to make sure that that's out for everybody. All right, 
Until next time, guys, everybody be careful out there. Take care of each other. And remember our motto, respect yourself, because image is everything. Peace. Thank you.